In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do the cluster kisses stitch. Really gorgeous stitch that has a row of cluster stitches and a row of cross trebles to give you your little kisses and it's just a really beautiful stitch. You get a lovely texture on it. Slightly different on the reverse. Still as beautiful if you wanted to use it for a scarf. Really gorgeous, gorgeous stitch. So let's have a look at the tutorial. So for this tutorial I'm using a double knit yarn. This is Stylecraft double knit in rows. I'm using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. Normally I'd use a four but I've gone up half a hook size because I, I kind of like the drape that it gives when you go slightly bigger. But you can use any yarn you like with whichever hook size is recommended but maybe go up half a hook size or a whole hook size um, if you want to get a, a slightly drapier feel to your fabric. I have scissors cut off my end, a wool needle sew in my end and a stitch marker just in case I need one. So this is a two row repeated pattern but we need to do a foundation chain and a foundation row just to set up the pattern. So we're going to start off by making a slip knot. You can do this in whichever way you prefer. And we're going to make a foundation chain in multiples of two or any even number if you prefer to refer to it that way. So we yarn over, pull through the loop on our hook, that's one. Yarn over, pull through two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So pause the video now whilst you make your foundation chain in multiples of two and I shall see you in a moment. So I've made my foundation chain. I've done uh, 18 stitches here. And we're going to work row one. Our row one starts in the fourth chain from the hook. So we don't count the one on the hook. So one, two, three, four. And we're going into that fourth chain with a double crochet. That's a single crochet in US. So we insert, yarn over, pull through. You should have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both of those loops. We're then going to chain one and we're going to skip a stitch and we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. And then we repeat that pattern all the way down the row. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat again, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. So work your way down the row now doing your chain one, skip a stitch and double crochet and I shall meet you back at the end of the row. So just coming up to the end of my row I've got two stitches left so I'm going to chain one, skip a stitch and double crochet in the very last chain. And that's row one complete. Rows two and three are the repeated patterns for the entire length of your project. So for row two then we're going to chain two and we're going to turn our work. Now we're going to skip the first stitch and we're going to work into the chain space and we're going to go in there with a three triple cluster or a three treble cluster. In US that would be a three double crochet cluster. So to do that we yarn over, insert into the chain space, yarn over and pull back through. You should have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Leave the stitch there, yarn over into the same chain space, yarn over, pull back through. Got four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull back through two, leaving you with three. Then leave the stitch there and do it once more, yarn over, insert into the chain space, yarn over, pull through. Four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through those first two. You now have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull back through all four loops. And we're going to close off with a chain. We're then going to skip to the next chain, so we're going to miss this double crochet here, skip to the next chain space and do another three treble cluster. So yarn over, 
insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, leave two on your hook, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, leave the three there, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through those first two loops, you should have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four and chain one. And we're just going to work that all the way through. So you skip the double crochet, work into the chain space with your three triple cluster, skip the double crochet, work into the chain space with your three double cluster. So work your way down the end till you get to your last chain space and I shall see you in a moment. So pause the video now. So I've come up to the end of my row two. I've just worked my last treble in the chain space, my treble cluster, sorry, in the chain space. I've chained one. I'm gonna skip the double crochet and then in the top of this turning chain here, I'm going to do a single treble. Remember that's UK terms, in US terms, that would be a double crochet. And that just finishes our row off neatly. So row three then, so we've done our cluster row, we're now going to do our kisses row. So we're going to do chain two, one, two, and turn our work. We're going to skip this first chain space here. We're also going to skip over the cluster and into the next chain space, we're going to do a treble. So we yarn over, insert into that chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to do the cross bit by going back to the skipped chain space before the cluster and we're going to do a treble in there. So yarn over, insert into that chain space, yarn over and pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And what you'll see there is you have this cross of the first treble you made and then the second treble that we made. Now we're going to skip the space that we worked into first and go to the next one and we're going to do a treble in there. Then we're going to go back to the skipped space and do a treble in there. Skip this space that we worked into first and go to the next unworked treble. Sorry, go to the next unworked chain space and work a treble. Then go back to the previous chain space and cross over our trebles there. Skip this chain space, do a treble in the next one. Go back to the skip chain space and put your treble in that one. So above your clusters you should have these nice little crosses. So you're going to work that way all the way down the row. So you skipped this chain space, you're going to work into the next chain space, then go back to the skipped one and that's your cross treble complete. So work that way down to uh, your final cluster and I will show you what to do to finish off the row. So pause the video now. So I've got my final cluster here and then I've got my turning chains. So I'm going to do my treble between the cluster and the turning chains. Then go back to the previous space before the cluster to do the cross and then into the top of that turning chain we're going to do a treble and that will just finish that row off nicely. So from now on then we're just repeating rows two and three so we're going to chain two, turn our work and we're going to work a treble cluster in that very first stitch, or rather in that very first space. Chain one, 
chain one and then work a treble cluster into the next chain space and chain one and we're just going to work that way all the way down the row as we did for row two. So if you need to see anything again you can always rewind the video. If you need to slow the video down there is a little feature on the screen that you can click on, uh, the, click on the video and you can find a way to slow the video down if you want to see things in sort of slow motion or half the speed to help you on your, uh, your crochet stitch then that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm just going to work up a few more rows now for you to see how it looks and I shall see you in a moment. So I've just worked up a few more rows for you to see how it looks and it's absolutely gorgeous this pattern. Really simple, very similar on the reverse to the right side. You can see this making a really lovely blanket or a scarf. Just a really lovely stitch. If you've enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help YouTube to show it to other crocheters. If you've enjoyed seeing my stitch marker today, this is the Puppy Paw. You can find this, uh, there'll be a link somewhere on this video. And also you can find it in shop.congacrochet.com, which is my Shopify shop. And it's also available in my Etsy store if you prefer to buy it over there. I shall pop two more videos on the screen over here to help you on your crochet journey and I will see you over there. Thank you so much for joining me on this one and happy hooking!